friends, today we are going to be assembling a makeup cabinet that looks just like this one. So I just put together one cabinet as I am redoing my beauty room, and now I'm going to put together the second one now that I have the hang of it. So if you want to see how to assemble the DeVay's makeup cabinet, then keep on watching and I'm going to do a little DIY with you. Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. I'm Cher. Today we are in demolition and remodeling mode. Maybe not demolition exactly, but um, I've been reorganizing my beauty room. I normally do a lot of uh, beauty blogging here. We talk all things beauty and makeup, a little travel too. Today is very much DIY. Um, I do have another video coming. I don't know if it will be before this one or after, but where I'm redoing my beauty room. Right now my room is a mess, so just disregard because we are in remodel stages right now. <laughs> um, so I thought what I'd do is bring you along to um, assemble this makeup cabinet. I thought I'd just do a whole tutorial on assembling this particular makeup cabinet, and it's because I'm not a handyman kind of person, and when I first saw and opened up this package, which you will see in a minute, I felt extremely overwhelmed. You know, thank goodness for YouTube. We all go out there and we YouTube how to do things sometimes. And so I thought I'm gonna try to dummy this down for somebody who can't make sense of these instructions and show you how to put it together. So for my normal like audience and, um, you know, beauty folks who love to see makeup and all that this may bore you today this is kind of more for people that are searching for how to assemble this i thought i would just do a fun video for that or if you're interested in these makeup cabinets when you see my beauty room reveal and you want one for yourself i will put the link for it down here i got it on amazon i just thought i would display like that side of it and do a whole video just on these makeup cabinets i really love them and how they turned out they look very much like the ikea this is how it comes, this big giant box, um, very heavy. And so I'm gonna open it for you and you're gonna see how it's a little bit overwhelming. But it is seven drawers. So it's not the really tall shelves, it's, um, but it goes up a good ways and it's holding a good bit of makeup. We'll also show you inside the drawers when we're all done so you can get a feel for like how much fits in it, all of that kind of stuff. I'll give you a little tour of it. Keep in mind, I put timestamps in my captions. So if you get, if you wanna just skip ahead to things and I'm talking too much, feel free to go check that out in the caption. <laughs> okay, it looks overwhelming, I know. Here's the instructions. They're not the easiest to follow it first, but I'll explain. I'll show you how to read them. And be careful. There are pieces that are very heavy. Lots of styrofoam everywhere. Okay. So it's going to come with a bunch of these little boards. And most of these boards are going to be the bottoms of your drawers. Okay. So this is what you're first going to see when you open it. I was so overwhelmed when I first opened it. I had no idea what was what. I just saw all the pieces and I was like, I'm not going to say it because this is, it needs to be family friendly on here, but I let out a couple of words. We'll just put it that way. Um, okay. You do have different size pieces though, but most of these cardboard, like skinnier pieces are the bottoms of your drawers. Um, but you will find the top of the whole frame, the bottom of the whole frame and the sides of the whole frame. Um, down here, at the bottom are all the little pieces parts. These are the, um, the liners that are gonna help you pull your drawers in and out. And you have a bunch of different screws. They do label the screws. It comes with a screwdriver, a little screwdriver, baby one in there. But I would recommend still getting a pretty big hefty one because some of them are hard to really get in there with some muscle. Um, so this will help you get good angles and muscle in there if you grab you kind of a multi-use um, screwdriver now okay this is how much of a handyman i am not i can't even remember the difference between a phillips and a flathead i'm assuming flathead is flat so i'm assuming this means that they're phillips that you're going to need a phillips the ones that are not flat okay 
we're going to start seeing hundreds of little pieces like this. These are basically the sides and tops of each of the drawers. I believe these are the, the backs of the whole frame. Okay, and then all these that are left, these are all the drawers. Okay, so all these little things, we're going to have to assemble every drawer. Like I said, there's seven drawers. But, so what you want to look for first is the biggest, tallest pieces. There's going to be two big pieces. Okay, so here in the very back are your two big pieces. Okay, so these two big pieces are the sides of your whole frame. So, you know, if you're standing your cabinets up, these are what are your sides. All right, so you're going to start with these two big pieces. That's your first step. Okay, guys, so on one side, you're going to see there's this big, deep groove. There are two little holes right here, okay? And then there's two little holes right here on it. We're going to put screws in those four holes, and we're going to do it on both big boards, is the bag of screws that they give us and it is labeled ABC. Then they have like smaller bags in here. Take some of these out and we need them. And so you are going to look for it, the screws called A. These are these little guys that are like a screw with like little black things on them. And yes, I call them black thingies because like I said, I'm not a handyman. So they're thingies to me. All right, so we're just gonna start screwing them in. Okay, so you can see I've got the screws in. One, two, one, two, and I did it on the other board as well. Now we're going to take little pegs, and these are called B, what they call B. They're little wooden pegs, okay, and we need eight of them. Okay, we're gonna stick a peg in. I think that we do not want it on under the ones that have the, these holes though. Okay, so like, let me show you, there's these deeper holes. They don't go in that one. They go in the next one. So on the insides of them, and we're gonna put it on each side. Okay, now we are going to start attaching these fun guys. You're just going to have to kind of um, follow where it fits. Let me find my scissors real quick. There they are. You'll want to look at the instructions and just look at the picture and follow what the picture says as to where to place it. Cause there's going to be different sides where like the wheel falls for the right side versus the left side. There's some that it's made for and not others. You're just going to have to kind of eyeball it and match the picture. Okay. So in the picture, for example, sorry, my dog's barking. Um, what they want is you want to find the one that has a flatter side here instead of the curve. Okay. So see how it's flat on the edge and there's a wheel at the bottom. This is the kind you want for these right now. And we want the wheel to be on the bottom for this. And in the picture they're showing us, here's where this little line is. So I want this wheel on the other side of the line. So like it needs to go this part that's closest to the line will not have a wheel and then the wheel's going to be more over on that other edge if that makes sense and we're going to line it up where the holes are and then screw it in so you're just going to have to eyeball and make sure you have the right piece where the wheel is going on the outside and make sure you have the wheels on turned towards the bottom because that was a mistake i made on the first one i started installing all of these and some of them were flipped the wrong way i just wasn't paying attention so Pay attention to make sure that the wheel's on the bottom here. So I'm gonna start installing it. We're gonna use screws, and for this one, they want screws labeled E. So the screws that are labeled E are these small ones. This little bag, it says E. And we are just gonna start screwing each of these on. So they want, they give you a picture, just follow the picture. It's going to be basically the, the first one over from the wheel on this side, and the side that does not have a wheel is going to be five over. One, two, three, four, five. And you'll see that the lo my dog keeps barking. I'm sorry. I think probably my husband's home when he's barking, like, come in, come in. Anyway, you're, you will see that the holes line up, too. So, here we go. Yep, perfect. All right. So, I'm going to start 
you know what? The baby screwdriver is easier for size E because it's such a small screw. So I'm just going to start putting these on. And make sure that you get these screws in really good. Because when I started trying to put my drawers in, there were screws that were not in very good and they were sticking out and it kept me from being able to push my drawers all the way in and I had to redo it. So you don't want that. Go ahead and get them good while you have a step-by-step -step approach here. So we have one board that is finished now. We've got um, the seven different little slides on them and you'll see that they line up with the holes pretty well. So now I'm going to do the other board exact same way. Just keep following the pictures um, and which way the wheels turn. Okay, got both boards done and a backache. Next, you're going to have to find two boards that say four and five on them. And I know it's hard to sort through all of these, but they do all have labels. So like this says five and the other one has a four on it. All of them will say like 11 or 10 or what have you. So, um, or eight. So you'll have to look for the label. There's only two of these boards and they have like the four on each side or two holes on each side is how you'll know. Okay, so what we're going to do is we're going to stick number four the screws. Okay, so it's kind of sticking up. So those two screws that we had put in the middle of the board, this board is going to go on top of them. I'm going to kind of show you. Hold on. You see the screws down here? We're going to slide those on. Then the other one, there's these two screws on the outer edge, and we're going to put this board here. So you're going to have two boards sticking up, but you know, you'll see that they're angled differently. Okay, and the way that you're going to be able to tell what angle it goes at is just, it lines up with the holes the right way on the boards. So we've got these connected. Now we're going to put the little bolt things. These, they're called C in the bag, and they're these little round bolts. So we want to fit them, where'd they go? We want to put them in the little screws here so that they hold this together. We're going to put the backs on. So this is basically our sides. This top and bottom here are the sides of our um, little shelving. And so you remember me talking about all these little cardboard boards that are going to be the drawers, the bottom of the drawers? There are two that are taller than the rest, okay? So you're going to take those two out, and I think those are the boards we need. They're labeled number three, okay? These are actually going to go along the back of our um, cabinets. They are gonna just slide into the grooves here. This is the hardest part, and this is where I definitely needed my husband's help last night. But I'm gonna see if I can get it without him this time and we'll see how it goes okay okay now you're going to take these thicker pieces these are the tops and bottoms they are labeled one and six i believe um so the way that you're going to know this is the bottom one is because you're going to see some extra four holes in there that are not in the other one and that's for the wheels so you know that's the bottom piece because there's gonna be wheels on the bottom the line is up here that it slides into, so the holes closest to the line is where you put a screw, and then this one. So the outside ones are where you put your screws in, and it's going to be A again, so it's going to be these guys. All right, guys, so I was wrong. I had it upside down, so if you're finding that the screws are just not fitting in the holes, flip it and see if you really have the top instead of, I mean, you really have the bottom instead of the top. So we've got the top on now. I'm going to flip it and now we're going to put on the bottom. Okay, so we got the top and bottom on. I 
there are these screws labeled F, and this is what you screw in on the top here on the four oh. corners. And then now we're gonna put the wheels on because this is the bottom of the cabinets. So now we're gonna put the wheels on. We're going to, I went ahead and put in the little screws in each of the four spots. This was E, which is labeled E, these little guys. So I've already got those in and we're going to just put them in their little holes and screw them in. Okay, and now we have the frame set up. The wheels are all attached. So now that we have the frame, we're going to start working on the shelves. And so we just got to basically build the seven different shelves and we will be all done. All right. So now we are able to kind of sit and just work on all these pieces. So here is the first, the biggest piece you're going to look for. This goes in the front. These are the, the drawers, you know, with by the handle. Okay. So once again, we're using A as our screws for this one. Also, if you guys have never used a ratchet, I learned from my husband just now that this is a ratchet, okay? And you're gonna hold it down with this bottom piece and you're gonna actually twist it more to the left on the top and then go to the right. That's gonna catch it and help you like screw better without having to twist and turn at your wrists. And I've already got a blister forming on my thumb from doing it the wrong way, so. This is just, this is the, like, the dummies class, because I'm definitely a dummy. But I'm going to put the screw in here. I'll try to, like, show you guys what I mean. So, left, then right. Okay? Left, then right for the whole thing. Left, right. Left, right. You want the screw to be, like, up on the top where closest to the handle side. Okay, and we're gonna do it on the other side too. Now we're gonna take two of the sides. They're gonna say 11 on them. Um, so see, it says 11. If you can't find 11, then what they look like is they have this little big hole and then a couple of small holes. So you're gonna look for like the three holes. And we are going to put pegs in them, which is B. So where B is pegs, due to the pictures. You're going to look for, so here's the hole. We're gonna to go to the hole that's kind of the opposite of that, not the one right under it, but this one. And we're gonna stick the peg in here, like so, all right? And then it's just gonna come down on the piece. Now we're gonna take C again, a little bolt, plug it into this hole right here get it good and secure and I, that's not secure is it <laughs> maybe I will learn how to do this and uh, be good at makeup and handyman stuff yeah doubt it <laughs> okay and then on this one the hole is gonna face on the outside peg in same idea and now we're gonna take the C screw again goes in here to cover it the little hole tighten it up good with the screwdriver our little cardboard bottoms you want the brown side um, kind of on the inside here and it's gonna slide down in the slot okay so there's a there is a slot down here you can see this just slides down in there don't worry yet that much about where you're lining it up because we'll tighten it when we get the top on, okay? So, the next part's gonna be um, the top. Okay, so here's the screws called G. They're just like pretty long. Yeah, so it says 10, okay? But basically it's these boards that just have a slot in them and not like really the holes and stuff in them, okay? That's what you're gonna look for. And so it's gonna come to where it's gonna fit in the slot now on the top of this cardboard. And then we're lining it up with these other holes. There's gonna be like a little bit of extra piece sticking out. That's, that's right, which I know seems crazy, but 
it is what it is. And this one gets harder because you got to screw from the side. Okay, and so here we go. We have all four sides on. We got the bottom. Now we have to put more sliding thingies on it. <laughs> so these guys go on the bottom so that they can line up with the ones in the drawers. So I'm going to flip it. These are a little different than the other ones. The other ones had a flat side. This one's curved with a wheel. So we want our, we want the wheel to line up along the outside edge and to be like on the top here, on the corner. And where we're going to put the screw in on this one, supposed to go like on that third supposed to go on this third one right here and then similarly at the front it'll be the third one also I think but you got to get it to line up once again now this one's going to use E again so back to the little tiny screws so as you see I've got it on so this one the wheel sticks out to the left this one the wheel sticks out to the right so you just have to kind of eyeball it but we now have our very first drawer all done let's put her in see if we can get it to fit there we go she looks like she's in i think it's in excellent so now we do this for the next six <laughs> and then we'll finally be done guys it is all done and put together. Now, I do want to point out that these middle drawers here, they are tricky to get in because it's under that middle bar. Um, so I'm not 100% sure if I have it set up right. It's almost leaning into this bottom one. So that is the only hang up. But overall, guys, I am so happy with how they turned out. You can kind of see my, it's still a mess. This is a work in progress. All right, I'm going to show you inside the drawers now. Okay, so here is an example of a drawer. I have organizers down in here. Um, this is kind of how deep it is in here. You're not going to be able to fit tall things. Like I had some candles that I tried to fit in just for an example to show you the height. And these do not fit. So it's going to have to still be fairly flat. But you can see I got a lot of organization in here. And see like these are still empty just kind of giving me a feel I've got just a bunch of junk in here right now I got to get it more organized but that just gives you kind of an overall feel and then you can see how much I have on top here and I still need to take this sticker off but that's it guys finished and completed two of these makeup drawers so if you guys wanted to check these out I hope it was helpful for you to learn how to install it with some good old dummy 101 style. Keep in mind, if I can do it, anyone can. All right, guys, I hope you enjoyed that. If you were just here to learn how to install, um, I understand if you wanna keep scrolling on through, but if you love all things beauty and makeup because you're sitting here putting together a makeup drawer, and if you love kitties too, then you'll wanna pop that subscribe button and stick around and check out everything on my channel. All right, guys, take care, and I'll catch you on the next one. Bye.